This segment of the Sweet Pete's Show is brought to you by Hamburger Mary's Jacksonville. So my mom, you know, my mom always wants to, she's the do-gooder of the family. She's always doing good for somebody else, whether it be the community, the church, you know, what have we, and uh, to include her children. So she wants to make sure her children are in, are in a good spot. And if she feels like she can edify that position, she's gonna help. And so she was here for Valentine's to make sure that, you know, she could get Sweet Pete through the Valentine's season, you know? So she's all heart. And uh, so that, I think that's why she came down, or I know that's why she came down. I'm Joella. I guess it's Sweet Pete's. I'm known as Mama Dane, and I like to help. If you see a, a funny-looking guy with glasses, say your mother said. <laughs> Who's that? Your son? Yeah, Dane. Dane is my son. Well, we love Mama Dane. We love her coming in to help. Um, we're very lucky that we all have great family, and at, from time to time, different family members. Erica's daughters coming to help. My cousins. We just had different people helping. She tries to help out and. You know, when that doesn't work out, then she's downstairs and she may be in the retail area. Then she's out the door, out front, fixing something out front. Then she comes back in and she's in the kitchen. And then she leaves the kitchen and she comes over in production. So Mama Dane's kind of everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, Mama Dane, she was all over the place. I mean, she was in the kitchen, she was in the retail area, in the shipping department. She is pretty nice to have her around because she is about her business. Is it a jet? Does it look like a jet? What would you do if I wasn't here? I'm here to wrap whatever they need. I'm happy to do. Mama Dane, um, she is, she's really sweet. She's really nice and she likes to help out. Um, but with me, I'm kind of a fast paced type of person and Mama Dane isn't a fast paced type of person. Uh, Dane's mom is more like the, uh, the candy hostess and has a story for everything. I used to make cute lollipops when my kids were little. But I used to put them in like a double boiler, you know, in like a Pyrex and then boil the water in the meat. I have nothing against Mama Dane, she's sweet, but I have to get stuff done and she is moving way too slow for me. So that meant that, <laughs> you know, we gotta get Mama Dane from out of the way. Somebody needs to come and get her, move her downstairs, put her on another assignment. I don't care, just let me do what I need to get done and move her out of the way. I mean, just anything. I love her to death, but I think, oh, I know, you know, I know, it's just not one of those things that I can, especially when I gotta move, 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 yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's slowing me down. I can't yeah, be slowed down right there. now. I have too much to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't want to be mean. No, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, maybe we could try to get her down here to wrap or something. Maybe we could oh, politely. Oh, if you can make her wrap some caramel. Um, don't trip some other cups. We gotta straighten out in there. And you know what this would be, who this would be a great job for? So can you, um, could she work with you? I don't know what I'm gonna have her do. She can help with shipping. She can put the tissue on top. She can do the cards, because I think Eric is in the same boat where she needs to go, and it's not. All right. The note. I was frustrated, mm -hmm. and let me be clear, not with Mama Dane. Mama Dane was here to help. She's so sweet. She only is coming from a good place of trying to help us, and so we were thrilled with that. I was frustrated because she was getting a little bit in the way and it, it wasn't her fault and it could have been prevented if Dane would have just nicely as a son went and said, hey mom, let's redirect you here. The note was written, I don't know who wrote it, but the gist of it was that um, Mama Dane was kind of being a distraction in somebody's space. I think Erica was trying to get shipping done and there were things that absolutely had to get out that day. Uh, so, you know, my mom is uh, very helpful and she, she, she likes to help. Um, uh, Valentine's Day, is, uh, there's not a lot of time to do everything we have to do, but my mom likes to come in at those times and say, what can I do? Well, I guess she was driving, uh, you know, Erica and Allison and the rest of everybody a little bit crazy, so there wasn't a real role that she could fulfill. And I heard that through the grapevine, um, you know, hey, you gotta, do some with your mom, you know, sort of guide her, lead her in a, in a direction. She can write cards, but Erica's got all the orders in her, so you're smarter than me. 
You're the smartest woman I know. You'll figure it out. A little B to the S, because I've heard it said to other people. So I know his game. Probably was saying, you, you're so smart, you figure it out, because I don't want to tell my mom to go pound sand or whatever, you know? So it's like, something like that. You've always, you, remember you've the work policy we established last week? You've always been smarter than me. Dang. I, Dang. I, I depend on that brand. Dang. <laughs> moments in so her into the office wrap it, wrap it. and let her wrap it and that way it's not in my way yeah if she can do it in the office we set her a pan of caramel on and she would be away yeah. from me yeah. and i would have enough then everybody said yeah, she can go around. as fast as slow as she, she wants she can go as slow as she wants <laughs> but it'll just be out of my way so we just gotta find a way to do it diplomatically um, so we can just you know well let me let me clue out yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's a good idea there you go we'll send that up and we'll see what we can do It's just a pleasure for me to come, I have to say that. It's worth the drive, 35 minutes from door to door. So uh, I'm happy to come. Uh, if I lived closer, I'd be here more often. Are you looking for a fun night out on the town? Come visit Jacksonville's very own Hamburger Mary's, a genuine good time where you can be yourself and enjoy a spectacular show with great food and fantastic drinks. Hamburger Mary's. Are you looking for a fun night out on the town? Well, come visit us at Jacksonville's very own Hamburger Mary's, a genuine good time where you can be yourself and enjoy a spectacular show with great food and drinks. Hamburger Mary's, eat, drink, and be merry. The segment of The Sweet Pete Show is brought to you by Tax Defense Network. Good, 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 good. Okay, newcomers, you guys are all natural, sweet shop, no artificial colors, flavors, and anything that we do, everything's made with a whole food. You guys are the free rangers, right? I like that, free rangers. Sweet, 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 I have not watched Dane give a class in a very long time, and I'm sure, as with anyone, if I were to watch him, his class would be a little different because I was watching. You know, we're all different, and you should always play to your strengths. And uh, you know, I always like to make good eye contact, read the group, re read what's going on, um, you know, emotionally, characterly, because every group's different. You guys want to do a little trivia? Anyone? You guys look like a very smart group. Anyone? No? I think Allison's probably a little more like, here's my sheet, here's what's on the sheet, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you know, and you know, get through that so she can go do other things. Let me go ahead and put the movie on for you, okay? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty exciting. It's sweet. Um, I wrote the curriculum. My mom's an elementary school teacher, so we tied into the state standards. We wrote the curriculum. So I'm sure I'm more um, focused on sticking to the curriculum. When we make our candies, we don't use any artificial flavors or colors, no high fructose corn syrup no preservatives, no hydrogenated fat. Here we're only gonna use natural ingredients. So what vegetable would we use to make our red, do you think? Beeps. Beeps. You guys I know it all already. I feel like the more we can give them that they're, the kids are actually learning, um, the more the teachers are gonna appreciate it and the more field trips we're gonna book. So it, it's, you know, Pete and I's whole philosophy on everything we do in this business. It is not about getting the dollar today. It is about building a business that people respect and love and appreciate what you do and find value in. So that's when we started thinking about doing not just a candy company, but an all natural candy company and making candy the way it used to be made. Yeah, me and Eric always have a good conversation because he's always needing things from, from the production. So, you know, sometimes I know she'd be stressing or so I kind of throw her a curveball, let her know like, oh, we don't have it right now, or you know, just put her in a situation making her feel like, oh, what am I gonna do now? What? <laughs> I'm not 
saying anything. Uh, uh, give it to him. I know it. <laughs> Erica's saying she's getting pretty desperate for pretzels. Yeah, I know. And she's, you know, it's not me you got to worry about. It's Eric. Know. She's going to be the oh, one. Yeah. Gonna... That D is something else, you know. He kind of gives me a hard time sometimes, but. You know, it's all in fun. At least I think it's all in fun. I don't know if he's trying to get me or whatever, because he knows that I need my stuff and I need it right now. Erica, you want to get on D? He's finally back so you can get your stuff done. Where is he? Right in there. Man, I'm backed up and I need my pretzels. <laughs> You're not trying to be here all night. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Mr. Nathan. Oh, boy. Yeah, um, I need my pretzels. I know What's it. going on? I needed down. those like yesterday. I got you. Come on now. I've been telling you. you this all morning. I need my pretzels. I, I got sure. 15 mm. boxes upstairs waiting to be shipped out, and all they waiting on is pretzels. I got you. Jeez. Apologize. I got you. I'm, I'm going to look out. I'm going to take care of everything right now. Y'all going to make me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking about pretzels all day. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you can make those real fast. You will be off my list. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of it. What time should we go out? <laughs> oh, you got it. All right. Got it. Yesterday, <laughs> an hour ago. <laughs> All right, D. I'm gonna take my gummies upstairs. I'll be, I'm bringing these right to you. I'm gonna take my gummies upstairs and put them in my here. basket. You don't even so have to come down. By the time I come here. back down, you don't even have to I come should get see them. some pretzels on the tray somewhere, right? Don't bring them right down. Down. Hard. I'm dropping off. All right. <laughs> now, you yeah. know that's only going to take me about five minutes or so, if that. Okay, I, I got five minutes. I'm giving you five. All right. So I'll ask him, you know, D, could you get this done for me? And he'll go, yeah, I'll, I'll get it done. I'll go to upstairs and I'll come back down and he'll go, I'll go, D, did you get that done for me? Nah, nah, um, I didn't get it done. Erica really, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> she comes. Was that fire? That was, oh, no. hey, that was a long, short fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are real pretty. Nice and them. shiny. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna be nice. We're gonna make it happen for them. Give me another tray right behind it. Oh, almost there. Yeah, yeah, you keep saying that. Yeah. Keep saying almost done. It don't mean nothing until they are actually done. Yeah. You know I'm gonna mess with you. Mm. I'm gonna keep yeah, on. <laughs> so it's Valentine season. The history of Valentine's is sometimes you, you, you can give your dog or your cat a lot of pet lovers uh, in the world. And so um, a couple came in and uh, they were, I guess, looking for, you know, something for a pet or whatnot. I, I'm not sure what that's all about. I mean, I don't know if you meant from us or just like, I mean, I guess I might buy my dog a bone for Valentine's Day, but not the chocolate store because that would kill the dog. I was able to give them that reference that that was a normal, activity for them to do. And so maybe that made them feel better. I don't know. I, I forget what they purchased, if anything at all. Yeah, I hope you're not purchasing chocolate for your pet dog, because that's that would be bad. That's not a that's not good for dogs. You're not supposed to do that. I hope that's not what he was doing, was he? They, they usually come in and buy for somebody else, but you know, it's a big world, a lot of people. Some people love their dogs and cats more than people, I don't know. I kind of get my orders every day and I look at it and I write it down and I say, this is what I need. So um, there was a particular time where I was like, I kept going to D, you know, cause D does all the production and I kept going to him I'm like, D, I need this, I need this. And I think I told him I needed in milk. D, 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 are you gonna get these for y'all? Remember we did them in dark, normally you know, they're supposed to be in milk. And I kept asking him, is it done? So I go upstairs and I do my work and I come back downstairs and I'm like, is it done yet? And he's like, no. And so I go back upstairs and I come back down again. And I'm like, okay, D, could you get that done for me? So he's like, okay, yeah, I'll get it done. So I go upstairs, come back and I see it done. And I misread it 
And I looked and I was like, oh my God, it's in milk, but I need it in dark. Uh, D, could you get this done in dark for me, please? Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate. Let's get it right. I'm on it right now. Yeah, like, Are you talking about the unicorns? Yeah, yes. man, we've been on that. The ones uh, I made a mistake and had made oh, a dark instead of milk. Okay. So it was my fault. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was my fault. Because Allison right. told him milk. He told him him and dark milk. I, uh, I kind of told him dark. Because I saw vegan on the forum, so I didn't know the drop down box said milk. My fault. Oh, no. See, here we oh. go. My bad. It was me. I made a mistake. You know, we're human. I make mistakes, not often, but I make mistakes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have it already done for her, so everything's all good. I just want to see her facial re reaction or see how she's just going to take the situation, you know, in the hand. So I just really be joking and, you know, it's all in good fun. We have fun together. We get the job done. And... Oh. <laughs> D. D. Get my lollipops ready? Yeah, he died. I, I, they may not be ready. No, he did, because I told him he had to do it. Uh, do, do I have to fuss at you again? What lollipop are you talking about? Oh, I forgot. See, stop playing. Stop All right, playing. let me go and do stop. my magic dance. Ah, where? Oh, you got, you know, they hid. Oh, okay, I see them. Okay, okay. They on Wait cool. a minute, let me think. What else did I need? <laughs> I got the vegan. I got this. Check. Okay. okay. And I have a non-pareil. Check. All right, see, I thought I was going to have to come oh, down okay. and fuss at y'all. Oh, good. The next thing you know, he turns around, bam, got it done for you. Gotcha. So I'm like, man, why are you stressing me out? I don't need you to stress me out. I just need to have it done so I can get my stuff done. Shoot, he likes to play with me. Oh well. <laughs> Do you owe thousands in IRS back taxes? Are you worried that the IRS will seize your bank account, possibly even your paycheck? Tax Defense Network can help. We're an A-plus rated Jacksonville-based tax resolution company with over 35 years experience in IRS negotiations. Don't face the IRS alone. Call 866-FIGHT-90 today. We've resolved over $93 million of small business and individual tax debt. Let our attorneys fight for you too. Call 866-344-4890 for a free consultation. I was helping out around Valentine's Day and Pete was giving a great demonstration to these little kids and they were so cute. Their parents were sitting around. Uh, Pete is great because he's not only making delicious candy, he's teaching them a little bit of science. And I was listening as I was working and every time he'd come into the kitchen to heat up something he needed for the demonstration, I could tell he was getting flustered. I'm not going back out there. I'm not going back out there. Because <laughs> it's getting very noisy, loud, and Pete is a very gentle man, and he has a soft voice. I'm going to especially need some traffic help on this, because this is, this, and I'm going to need somebody to spot me. There's the tiger. Yeah. Uh, the tiger, yeah, just like, we need some restraints. So as I was working, I was getting agitated because he was agitated. You should, yeah. You, you, you do it old school. Take it old school. Yeah, take it old school. I used to beat things. Can, can you, can you, you gotta keep show your us on to the... yourself in the shop. Oh, you, need another thing. <laughs> you know something? I'm Italian. Look at yeah, it. He didn't ask permission. <laughs> <laughs> Just went into action. <laughs> There are a lot of those good old Italian sayings, like, um, I don't even know how to say the Italian, like, you know, love and spankings go well together. <laughs> I would check on the candy, probably a little more on this one, because, you know, I, I couldn't stay out there for too long of a period of time before I just lose my mind. 
And so she could tell I was that things were getting out of control and she stepped in at the la at, at the most critical moment, came out and just shut them down. And that was uh, very helpful. And I just said, well, I'm not an employee here. I'm gonna go out and do something. All right, we've got just a few minutes. I'm gonna go over a couple of quick rules before we get started. Why do you think rules are important in a candy store? We need hey, to- Hey, listen up, everybody. Pete has to talk to you. But guess what? He can't even hear himself think because it's so noisy in here. So I want you all to be shh. we need to go over some safety procedures. Why are safety procedures and rules important in a candy store? Yes. You could get burned or hurt. That was helpful. <laughs> well, it's a fine line when the children are wild. Sometimes you have parents and, and ed educators that are very thankful for you sort of saying enough, behave, but other times people don't want you correcting their children. And so, you know, they're your customers, so you have to sort of walk a fine line. The great thing about Mama Dane doing it is that she has, while she's strict, she has that sweet grandmotherly feel about her. So who's going to get mad at her, you know? She's just a sweet grandmother from the old school that's getting things right. So, I mean, we could clone her, just have her come in during field trips to just do that. It would be great. <laughs> Mama Dane uh, finally found her place because she actually saved the day for me. This field trip was crazy. They were out of control. They were rolling around the floor. She's hilarious. We love her. Um, it was great to have her uh, go out there and you know spread her love with those children. I think, uh, especially with that field trip, and she did a great job. You know, she's she's good with the discipline disciplinary issues in the group. So there she was. Well, um, sometimes people don't always know where they fit in or they, they haven't found their strengths, but everybody has something good that they can do, something that they're really good at and something that uh, they can do well. Something, uh, everybody's good at something. And in the case of, uh, in Mama Dane's case, she was very good at keeping the peace and very good at keeping order at a time when we needed it desperately. You know, eventually uh, we actually found that she has a, a skill set called uh, uh, watching over helping out with field trips, which she uh, did a great job at and so she found her role and her purpose for the Valentine season. Another one. You have to... All right, thank you. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mama Dane. Red dye number 40, yellow number five, et cetera. These are things that are commonly found, common additives in candy and food as well. At Sweet Pete's, we do things a little differently. We use the natural sources, real food instead of chemicals. Our yellow comes from saffron and turmeric. The green comes from spinach. The red from beets. Ordinarily, these colors are formed by burning petroleum or coal products. But would you put petroleum jelly in your mouth? Would you eat a hunk of coal? I wouldn't, at least not on purpose, yet we're doing it every day.
Think about it. 